I'm Max. Max painstakingly lives another goddamn day of his worthless life as the simple little assemblage of chemicals on earth, barely able to withstand the tedious and tiring tribulations that everyone, including himself, must live through for no understandable reason. He's not that strong, he's not that smart, he's not that funny, he's not that charismatic, he's not that perceptive, he's not that talented, he is not that skilled, and he's not that special. There is not one substantially or even slightly interesting aspect about him as the difference between Max and the next average person is near nothing. He'll go his entire life without making a distinct sound to the outskirts of space or even past his hometown. There is no voice of his that needs to be heard, nor words that will work their way into the mechanics of history. His story, telling it, will consist of only silence. But then, Max puts in his headphones, and he presses play. was silence, there is now sound. Where there once was a selfish brat who felt entitled to literally everything he was born with, there is now a man willing to sacrifice his mind and body to the world so that he may better it somehow. Where there once was a puny pussy prone to panic attacks, fervently fearing any fraction or fragment of change, there is now a man who will clutch every fresh opportunity that opens itself up to him in order to progress as a person. Where there once was a pathetic little child, there is now a man who wants to do whatever he can to help mankind from whatever enemy that may throw itself at it. What we hear, we listen to, and as Buddha said, what we think, we become. Music can morph us into who we are and what we want to be. It has the power to almost involuntarily move our body or make us think certain thoughts. It's able to amplify the emotions we experience, propelling out tears or provoking peak amounts of passion or compassionately pulling us up off the floor and pushing us back into the fray. Movies, TV shows, video games, and books are fucking awesome. They're a way we can escape life. But music is like the way we can live life. Instead of putting us into another person's story, it puts us back in ours. It is so phenomenally freaking frigging and so fucking beautiful. Although yeah, there may be some horrible ass songs and singers out there and it's sad to see them 
poison such a perfect medium of expression like most mainstream pop stars, rock stars, and rappers. But if there are people that enjoy it, let them enjoy it. And let us enjoy our own music. That's a great thing, that there are so many choices. And even then, pop music is just a gateway for us to find even better artists that may match what we were looking for in the first place. It does suck that tons of the big ones don't even deserve a microscopic ratio of the fortune and fame they have, while some of the greatest and most unique artists may never get past a few hundred fans. But they will if they keep going, just like some of them have already done. Otherwise, I personally would have never found all of the beautiful and incredible musicians that I have, and same goes for you. It is odd that a consecutive compilation of particular noises played in a certain rhythm or pattern can stimulate our minds to an almost untouchable scale. Yet unlike food, sex, or exercise, we don't need it for survival, and yet we need it to live. I know I do. So here's a lesson for all you fuckheads who have no faith in humanity. While you're sitting there cursing at planet Earth and our existence on it, how about you stop being part of the problem, you goddamn prick? Complaining about humans while listening to music that humans made. With headphones that humans made. On a playback device that humans made. Because of technology that humans made. You ungrateful piece of shit. I hope most of y'all can agree with me that music is kind of like one of the greatest things ever. It's like drugs without the addiction or harmful effects. It's like sex without pregnancies and STDs. It's like food without the calories. It's like storytelling without the reading, watching, or playing. It's a story you live through. I'm lost. I'm tired. I'm hurt. I can't take it. I'm focused. I'm ready. I'm okay. I got this. I got this. It is the devastating supernova of potently powerful energy and emotion that my existence requires on a habitual basis that I don't know if I could have ever lived without. It brings us back into ourselves and it brings us together. It's a mighty tool that can either destroy or create who we are. And most importantly, it is the embodiment of love in the form of audio, used as a gift given to us by each other to let the universe know, this is us, this is who we are. So be thankful for it everyone, and make the heavens hear how loud you can be.
Toodles.